Hi, Paul. Hi, Matt. Hey, Chris. Welcome to Building Up To It, Episode 12. Thanks to all the audio and video listeners slash watchers. We appreciate you. Give us the, the reviews and the thumbs and the other thumbs and the comments, too. That's an important one. We've got a bunch of really cool topics tonight. We're going to try and go through them in a reasonably quick fashion. We're not going to keep <laughs> so you here all night. A two, hour show? two hour, three <laughs> hour, we'll see. Uh, we, we're upward trending in time per episode. It's it's a, a dangerous road we're on right now. Time to but crash that's okay. The we're going to get right into it. Matt, no. We're nope. going to get right into it. Me, I, I didn't get anything Lego. I got... Blade Runner 2049 on Blu-ray, and I got another Halo book. And that's it. Paul. Ooh, dang. This is this is fast this time. And furious. Uh, <laughs> I didn't get a lot, but uh, I did do a couple Lego things. That I will try to go as quickly as you did. Uh, first off, I got my final two uh, Batman Series 2 minifigures, the, did, the beachfront scene, it seems. Did that uh, dolphin always have a grip on its fin? Uh, it, like, I don't, I don't know about all dolphin. Movies, the but dolphin this one does a little, have like, a grip. Haggard. <laughs> that's, just, that's the reflection. That's the reflection in the side of it of Batman or something. No, maybe it's <laughs> indeed. Of the logo. I don't know. It's, there's a reflection going on. Yeah, this right over here is indeed a reflection. But yes, he does have a grip on on his uh, fin, which he's, I was very grateful yeah, for. He's got a grip so of dolphin. Why? It's because he's a floating dolphin and not a real dolphin. Ah, that would explain the hollowness underneath. <laughs> yeah, maybe. And then, of course, uh, what's his name? The uh, Killing Joke Joker got him too. And it's the most subtle reference ever. <laughs> I uh, I built one of my the one of my other uh, speed champions. So I built I built the Corvette, and I figured since I also got Masterpiece Sunstreaker, let's take a yellow picture because they're all yellow. That's gonna and, piss somebody off. Someone's gonna see that and freak out. <laughs> also, it's also, racist. it really sh it really shows off the fact that Bumblebee is bright light orange, and not yellow. he is indeed. <laughs> yeah, he is. I was surprised. He was. I'm like, whoa, this is pretty. Uh, he's pretty not yellow. He doesn't match the others. So I try to like use filters to try to make it look like it kind of were close. But this is as close as I could get. Um, he just so yeah. Along. He he doesn't, and he's the most hollow <laughs> compared to even these. He's got hollow sparks, even compared to the Lego sets. I don't but see any uh, there's the McLaren. There, there are exactly no waffles. Uh, but there's the McLaren, and then they're all the waffled underneath. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I just for stability, not, not for cheapness. <laughs> they're crunchy waffles too. It sounded like. Um, and then the last thing, I threw up one of my. Uh, Another one of my architecture series stalking Lego sets missions. next to the other, to the actual <laughs> architecture <laughs> house. Stalking missions. It's accurate. <laughs> uh, for those that were that may be interested, this is the house. This is Bruce Wayne's house, or what, what Bruce Wayne's house is modeled after in the uh, the newer Batman movies. Um, only they colored his black. But yes, this is the Farnsworth house set next to the Farnsworth house in person. And What's actually, the, the newer movies, you mean like uh, um, in BVS and um, oh, I haven't seen any of them. <laughs> okay, uh, well, he, he's in yeah, he has either. a house, not not Wayne Manor, obviously, but Wayne Manor like kind of got like destroyed and he left it, and so he's in like his Playboy house, which is basically this house, but they colored it black, which I thought was very interesting because it is a pretty hmm. badass little house. I'm not gonna lie. Um, it's interestingly. Soon, and it's going to be like if he's built your house, it's already too late. <laughs> the uh, the Lego Architecture Instagram uh, account reached out to me and said, We'd like to use this. So I said, Okay, so one of these days, this or my Brandon Brigade one may be used on their page. How many followers cool. does Lego Architecture on Instagram have? 45. Look, I, I, I can yeah. click it. I can look in the 16,000. Ah, cool. How often yeah, do they post? Like, none of these are my picture, by the way. So, look at how artsy so, all their pictures are. So fuck these pictures. No, but uh, but yes, they are very artsy. They look good. It's like good stock for photo. Stock photo plus Lego. Yeah. <laughs> they just need like guys like on laptops one. at coffee shops looking out the window laughing. <laughs> this one's kind of cool. But anyway, Coco Futures says, "Great post. <laughs> <laughs> Great post." 
many of them are actually real architecture, which I suppose is kind of a, a cop out. But, yeah, uh, yes. but whatever. <laughs> this one at least is not. The first one was not, <laughs> and then the second one immediately was. So, <laughs> so who knows where they're going to go with it? But if they use my picture, I'll be very honored. It looks like it started um, in September 2017. So yeah, it is a relatively new account. Hmm. Uh, but anyway, I wonder how the they get. I wonder how they get followers for that. Like, do they do they share it on the other accounts and be like, "Hey, we got a new one. Go follow this one as well." I didn't know about it until they uh, they reached out to me. So <laughs> maybe that's how they do it. Hey, if you want to check out another Lego our Lego page, check me out. But it has been verified, so that that leads some credence to this being an actual account and not just some dude who named their account Lego Architecture. And there's the Shanghai set, which I do want because I want to see how to build this. Um, oh, that that, I've got that twisty that tower. Toys the rest. Yeah, uh, we're, I, again, I've got some big purchases coming at the end of the month so we can get some VIP points that Chris can't use. So I figure we I might as well uh, do that. I can use them in store. I just can't use them online. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess that's better than nothing. But anyway, the feature is not mine this week, so I will stop sharing the LEGO architecture page yeah, what are you doing? And, uh, and throw things over to uh, to Matt. Oh, cool. Yeah, I didn't get much this week. I got uh, 15 of the 16 Lego Batman Series 2 that I was looking for. Everything except like Harley Quinn and uh, the both Alfreds. I don't want Harley Quinns. I don't want Alfreds. And uh, there's one other one I wasn't getting. I actually got more than I thought I was going to get. Oh, and the Robin yeah, with the boombox. Um, I just need Hugo <laughs> Strange. He wasn't in the box, apparently. He All those got picked out of them, despite... Uh, and then I went and I picked up the uh, Egg Mech, which is fantastic. Little guy. Awesome. <laughs> I saw that at yeah. Target today. He's great. It's a fun, quick little build. Fun and uh, pretty cool. Condiment King's How many great stickers? Uh, stickers? Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Five stickers. And there's one printed. Uh, this this one's printed on the arm. Between That's kind of cool. Beaten and scrambled, or fried and scrambled. Apparently, <laughs> the free range eggs operate on a scale from fried to scrambled. I don't know what the, <laughs> that means. But it, it also. They, they launch, it launches eggs, right? Like the well, little it, it, has, it has a slot launcher, so you load the, uh, the flat eggs through. Yeah. Can it but also it launch doesn't... angry pizzas, too, probably? It could launch angry pizzas, yep. Devil pizzas. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's all I got. Um, today, but I'm going to move into the features since it is mine. And I want to bring up Elemental Lego. That's Elemental underscore Lego on Instagram for all our audio listeners. Um, they do a lot of miniature builds, and uh, you'll notice this here is actually designed by another uh, JK builder Brickworks. who, yep, who JK I will Brickworks. mention later, but uh, they built it, and it's cool, and it le led me to them. Uh, this is that's a cool. solar, solar system that someone else designed he built but what i like about him he does miniature builds um of course we've seen other miniature builders but he does a lot of sci-fi stuff um which i'm pretty into little moon bases and little ships and stuff for said moon bases All and he he does little photo <laughs> instructions on how to like build them um you can just sort of if you go to his instagram page on your phone you could swipe through them and and see um, he has a variety of different ships, which are pretty pretty fun use of bricks. And these are pretty cool. Yeah, neat little sci-fi worlds, little Sam sight shooters and stuff. Um, and then what I really like are his winter trees. He does little huh. variations of uh, different ways to use bricks to make trees. And this was his winter line. Um, one of which is just a, a tennis racket, <laughs> <laughs> which I thought was pretty funny. Points for uh, trying to slip that one past his audience. It's um, creative. Yeah, it's creative. This is a pretty cool base, the little spires over the ocean. Um, all Star Wars. Yeah, they are all Star Wars. Yeah, that's why I like they, it so much. <laughs> uh, he, this that's, is a, a neat I think one. That's, those, that's, that's Camino. The, those, t those TVs are awesome, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so he's got a little minifigure in there. 
which is pretty cool. The little goth boy, and he used like the uh, Spider-Man web rope as like Saturn's ring, which is pretty neat. Good I use like of that. bricks. The t- the TV is really cool. Um, here's his autumn trees. Oh, those um, are nice. Using the the golden stars and chains and you know various colored bricks. But I I think you know you it's a creative way to sort of use a lot of these bricks, like or in yellow platters here and. Dude, whatnot. I dig that. It just it it again a lens kind of credence to it Cole. as an art form. Yes, they cool. <laughs> Even the hairbrush yeah, looks good though. It looks better than the yeah, tennis racket. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. So he, you know, he did a little ice, a couple ice planet builds here. Look at a sand crawler. Yeah, little wouldn't, ice wouldn't planet. Wouldn't be an ice crawler? crawler. Yeah. <laughs> Here's his uh, yeah, no. summer tree, <laughs> which I guess was a little bit smaller of a design, but you know, he used some trans green bricks, which looks pretty cool. That's like the, there's the uh, green brick separator. That, I feel like that's a reference to the um the Minecraft oh, the trees. Separator. That'd have been a huge tree, Paul. Huge tree, Paul. <laughs> where where did you see the green brick separator? No, I said where is the green brick separator? Oh, where is it? This as a as a thing. Yeah. yeah, it's a it's a neat little page, and he's done some cool stuff. A little snow temple, Jedi temple. You know miniature builds and i i just like his style i like you know it sort is. of his creativity with uh in the scale he's uh, pretty good at it so yeah that's i just want to quickly show them off elemental underscore lego on a ig and uh you know check him out Give nice him a job follow. nice job elemental underscore lego it's pretty cool that he has all those little mini builds and then of course he has the ucs millennium falcon as his last picture so he went the opposite yeah, direction the there <laughs> All right, that was a good shout out. Um, Paul, you want to talk to us about the ship in the bottle that we've been avoiding talking about for a little while? Yeah, I would. I would love to. We, we want to um, wait till it's not news to talk about it. <laughs> it's, the only, about it news. it's the only way. Yeah, this is. Uh, I got the original up for you. Fantastic. So we we I, th- I believe we talked about this at an early episode, um, maybe in the spotlight of the uh, Lego Ideas page in general. But there was a uh, a set that had reached ten thousand supporters, and it had also gone through the approval process and gotten approved. And that is the Lego Ship in a Bottle by designer Jake Sandovich seventy seven, I believe it is, or Jake Sandwich as uh, as Matt calls him, the Sandwichman. Exactly. And um, I think pretty much we, we all of us uh, agree that it was a very interesting design, very cool design. I think Matt said he might be in on this one. I'm definitely in on this one. Yeah. Um, and uh, Chris is, is jaded and, and only all things about money, so he's not going to buy it. But um, it's a very cool set <laughs> where it, it, it was very reminiscent of the old school building ships in a bottle concept where it has a fairly... I would say a fairly uh, well-designed ship in the inside. The uh, the Leviathan, I believe, is what it's called. And uh, it is inside a bunch of clear bricks, or not bricks, I suppose, but a bunch of clear pieces that are somewhat reminiscent of a bottle when, when, uh, when linked together and shaped in the way that it does. And it has a bunch of just clear blue studs at the bottom um, to represent the water. And it has a, a fairly nice little stand on there as well and when when we saw this this is one of the things we speculated like will the loose pieces be in the design yeah exactly it well it, as, like it, as it survived <laughs> as it turns out this set is coming out in just a couple weeks will be released uh in lego stores um february 1st and uh, this is now chris has just pulled up the official um pictures of it and it's actually um, quite a bit different it is quite a bit different, uh, as with Anton's bait shop. Not a, not a single brick was left untouched. It seems the bottle's much smaller. Yeah, the, the set itself is, I believe, significantly smaller than um, than the original one was. But in all honesty, I like the changes that they've made. Um, there are little things like the um, the it has the wax seal kind of built into the top now, uh, where you where you put a much more detailed kind of cork in the bottle now. Yeah, um, that goes into the bottle. Um, could you go back to the original? It seems like the ship has changed as well, has it? 
Yeah, the ship is significantly well. less detailed. Yeah, it looks to be almost a almost a mini build um, style of that ship. So it's more the idea of a ship in a bottle as opposed to a fully designed ship. Even though yeah, they got it does a pretty the, good job. They got rid of the cannon on the bottom as well, underneath. Yeah, and in if in the pictures you can scroll through. Um, yeah, the next one is that the neck of the bottle, or is there? Okay, yeah, yeah. It looked weird. It looked like they cut the neck off or did something. Like you could make the bottom <laughs> rounded or something. But uh, it, it displays nice. The, the bottle the itself, yeah, it does display well. The bottle itself is now a little bit more bottle shaped uh, in order to, I suppose, um, accommodate the larger ship in the original model. Um, the they couldn't use like anything. Like anything. <laughs> That's true. But now that the pieces, I, I doubt that these are um, kind of custom pieces or new pieces designed for the set. Can you verify that, Chris? Oh, they don't like the, the bottle pieces. They don't make any new pieces. No, the um, okay. The, the top of the bottle, top curves are the large curved panels from like Paradiso sets, um, and then it's just the quarter round panel um from any number of city sets in the corners and regular one by four by three panels making up the sides because this is like a, a six by six and this is like a four by four so it needs a little bit extra space so it is kind of squared off but definitely less square than the original i'm almost yeah, tempted it, you know to make it an egg mech in a bottle uh, <laughs> well that's the wonderful mech. thing that you can you can do anything you want <laughs> put anything in the bottle what, what i was actually thinking is one of like the old atlantis squids would look pretty cool in the or bottle. the uh like the, the the garmadon's uh garmadon 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 shark in, in in that bottle or something like that which you could probably well do. you know i actually just might add tentacles wrapping around the ship in the bottle and just say there's a kraken under the water there Spice you go I do like that. It's a good idea. But I guess for those that are listening and haven't seen the original versus the new, uh, the original one, the the bottle itself was very large, kind of like one of those big Ernest and Julio Gallo like gallon bottles like of wine. Less like and a now, wine bottle and more like a a sixty of alcohol. A jug. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. Now this yeah. is more reminiscent of a of a of a fifth, a seven hundred fifty milliliter bottle of water. It's that or bottle of wine or alcohol. It's that Plus size so. now, and. Um, I'm going to guess that they probably wanted to do the, they wanted to make the bottle itself more universal. So they shrunk the ship. I think that was probably the, the idea behind the biggest change here and why the ship itself is so small, but then it also then makes it so it's more displayable on a desktop or, or on a, on a shelf or in, in your, your, your desk at work, something like that. It, it makes it a little bit more of a, an easier kind of display standalone piece as opposed to sneak it sneak it in somewhere yeah i've, I've got a couple more. ideas seeing it now one take out the blue trans put in trans purple it's a it's in grape drink you, ba you beat me <laughs> purple to it, man. i was just waiting for <laughs> waiting for a pause in the action but you beat me to it purple drink <laughs> And I was wondering, uh, these windows we see, have they ever come in like a trans green? Because then you could just do ship in a Mountain Dew bottle. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, unfortunately, these big uh, curved ones at the top of the bottle right before the neck, those are only available. Uh, actually, they might be in trans dark blue. I'll have to look that yeah. up. I want to uh, say they do for clear the space police. Most common. So yeah, dark blue. like three. dark Trans dark blue. So darker than this blue down here. So Mountain Dew high voltage then. <laughs> yes. Yes. You can make yeah. a voltage hey Chris, have you ever voltage two liter. <laughs> have you ever drunk one of those on uh, on Clutch Drinks Crazy Sodas on YouTube? A uh, voltage? Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I, I haven't been drinking anything that came out before I started drinking these sodas, so I'm not gonna be like, today we look at regular Coke. I'm not gonna <laughs> Crystal I'm not gonna, Pepsi. I'm not gonna go into that. I did Crystal Pepsi, <laughs> but I'm not. Uh, I'm not going to just be like, uh, what we, this is called Dr Pepper. Let's see what this is all about. <laughs> it might be interesting to have a comparison between like Dr Pepper and Dr Thunder or whatever, like the those the generic hey, versus. Stop the real. giving me great ideas. 
<laughs> so that's pretty but anyway cool. yes they did want to kind of just show way. that the set is coming out in a couple weeks if you play your cards right and assuming that they haven't sold out yet you can hopefully mm -hmm. it just it does come out during the time frame of the 60 years of lego set so if you add i think i think this is supposed to retail at 70 dollars. so if you add another um uh, fifty-five dollars, I think it is. I think it's one twenty-five. I think is the is the price threshold to get that six years of Lego set for free. Then you can get that set as well. Which, as any listeners or watchers know, we are all big fans of that set and can't wait to get that. Personally, I plan on getting just to be safe. I'm going to buy the fifties diner on the twenty-eighth to make sure that I can get that set right away. Um, and, and so I get the. the uh, <laughs> The 60th, exactly. And then well, that, that one is $170, so I'll get the one. And then I'll wait until February 1st to buy all the other sets that we're buying to get at least one more, um, if possible. That's my plan, <laughs> as far as that goes. Just hey, work check, in the system. Check this out. We also Damn have the distinct pleasure to announce that we'll be holding a special fan designer signing and pre-release event on the 27th of January, conveniently outside of the window for the, the giveaway. <laughs> <laughs> where Jake, Jake the Snake Sandovich 77 will join Whoa. us to sign copies of his new Lego set. Interesting. So, I, like I said, I've been to the, I went to the Roby House for the release of the Roby House set. Where would you think they would have this? <laughs> would it be at in some Murray, sort of Utah? Murray <laughs> Landlock, Utah. Landlock, Utah. <laughs> well, that's find it on the map. I assume that's Lucky. what you can see from the porthole. On the uh, on the uh, the box right there. That's probably Utah right there. Yeah, that's not water. That's uh, that's desert. <laughs> so yeah, it is seventy dollars. You're right. That's um, that's a lot. I How think. many pieces? I forget. Not it's supposed to be a lot of pieces. Blue. But yeah, I think that's where that's where all the nine hundred sixty-two. That's not bad. I mean, so hundred. It's not, it's not bad for nine hundred for thousand but <laughs> <laughs> that's that's more than 100 i think that was also part of why they made it smaller as well because i think the original one was significantly larger so that would have been a way more expensive set so yeah so so i really want to get the the bot the pieces that made the bottle just like the ideas one because i think they've pretty much perfected it and i believe that if you're going to design a set like that the most important part to start with and make sure is correct and as best as it can be is the bottle. The ship is kind of inconsequential, unfortunately. If it doesn't look like a good bottle, then it's you're gonna lose the whole the whole concept there. So that I would why love you to get a bunch. You're not Anton's dad. That's because you don't you don't have a mind for design. Ouch. <laughs> um, I would like to get a bunch of those bottles and fill each one with a different so, like a transparent color. So <laughs> not watertight. <laughs> I, oh, I bet you it says that on the box somewhere. <laughs> I bet you on the box it says, like, bottles not watertight. Not a duck's ass. <laughs> <laughs> I do watertight, you. man. How many of those pieces do you have in the store, Chris? Because uh, uh, I, I wouldn't mind probably, doing the same. Probably none, and I'm sure a lot of like uh, Brickling stores are now out of them all of a sudden. <laughs> I'm sure people are buying those panels up now. Like, but that'll like pass. They... That'll pass. Yeah, and well, hopefully you... anyone out there will... Actually, you can probably um, order those panels from Bricks and Pieces when they're making that set. And they might make That's the true. panels available individually. You, you know what? Um, I, really I would love the, to make a bunch of bottles reason. and each one be a different trans color and I just find whatever the smallest element they make in that color and just kind of fill it up. Yeah. Have them on a shelf I do like that idea. It's neat. I like that what, idea. What I like about the the bottle itself is that like you, you buy it, you build it, you put it on a shelf, and then like a month later you can be like, I'm gonna build a, a different little mini ship to go in there, or a little spaceship or something, and you can sort of easily switch it up every once in a while. Spaceship in a bottle. Fun of it. Spaceship in a bottle. You know, <laughs> put red trans, orange trans, and put like a fire crawler, or, like some sort of ghost ship in there. Or, you know, have fun with it. Yeah. It's pretty neat. Get some, now, uh, now I really some clam drones. <laughs> <laughs> clam drones. Clam I really want to think bottle. about getting this set now. A Carter Industries but, spinner in a bottle would be good. Yeah. There it's, you go. It might be bigger than that bottle. <laughs> It'll be tight in there. <laughs> so, as long as too many figures fit in it. 
<laughs> I yeah. should make it again, but this time make it minifigure scale because that was a huge letdown. The fact that it was min it was minifigure scale. Anyway, <laughs> well, um, but yes, are you guys getting the bottle? Uh, I think I'm getting the bottle. Yeah, hundred percent. I am getting one as well. Um, those are the kind of ideas sets that I like to support. Um, because I, I like the standaloneness of it, and I like that. Just like you, Chris, I like that it's it doesn't rely on any sort of nostalgia or anything like that. It's kind of its own design and its own, yes. and shows that it can be used as an art form and can be used to promote the creativity of Lego itself. So I dig. This it. is yet another unlicensed IP idea set, which is fantastic to see. We don't need another like some big Star Wars set that didn't make yet. Or, or uh, <laughs> some crappy sitcom that some people like, but everyone's getting over. Or yeah. Harry Potter, <laughs> not... because I can't find it on the shelves anymore. Mm. <laughs> I would not I've recommend seen... using the ship in a bottle in a bar fight. <laughs> <laughs> Unless they, you can have them step on all the Legos. Unless and they step actually on the pieces as you run away. <laughs> <laughs> They're somehow barefoot. <laughs> <laughs> on the beach. If you're going to do a fight in the beach, you can use it. <laughs> a bar fight on the beach. Okay. So we have some some leaks we're going to look at now. We waited our good time for that ideas set and uh we it's we so we record on Tuesday nights typically and on Wednesday very very early in the AM Eastern it seems the Lego likes to release a lot of their press releases Fisher. and other images and big announcements because we'll do our recording and we'll be like, well, you know, there's some information, but it's all speculative. And uh, here's a picture that's really grainy. And then four hours after we're done recording, it's like, bam, high res. And we're like, ah, <laughs> we probably shouldn't have talked about that or glad we didn't talk about that. Or, but again, we're not. Oh, we got to talk about it again next week. The news show. We're not. There's so that's many right. of those. Just be on the internet, you know. But, yeah. you know, we're if you are on the internet. News. If you are on the internet and you do want some news, you can you can look at these cool leaks we're about to show you, and uh, don't tell anybody. <laughs> what is this? Some boring. Oh yeah, you got a normal size minifigure group. Oh, that yes. is interesting. This is and our some light trans blue power blast, and these power blasts are popping up in sets, and I think they're really dope. And I got to get my hands on all the different colors. Are you gonna? So these are them? all from no Infinity War. Whatever the Marvel is doing now. Look at like yeah, that little makes twig sense. axe. Maybe <laughs> figure. <laughs> little Hopefully Groot there. made that axe for him. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. So yeah, well, this is a Thor and a Rocket and Groot. And hey. I don't I don't know what the um I don't know what the conflict is here because they're all like on the same side and I don't know what either of these vehicle will the ship on the left and the uh you know blob on the right. Maybe the blob is the bad guy. The, the... I wouldn't worry about it. Yeah. <laughs> it's weird that it looks like it would be like an undersea like um like bubble. Bad signal. <laughs> it does look like a bad signal. <laughs> this is a signal. we're being pretty toiler heavy right now. But um well, we don't know what they are stuff. so it's fine. Now, one of the cool things I want to highlight in these sets is you see all the stuff in the bottom, they're all like, Oh, you know, you get extra power blasts and um these are those little thwip holders for Spider Man. Spider Man. Which, uh, which uh, you know, he's not in the set, but the part's still a great part. There's extra studs for the stud shooters here and here, and probably on this crazy thing. And then there's, you get four of these bad boys. Infinity now, what are these little, what are these the little gems? Infinity Stone little plugs? Yeah, there's these little tiny plugs, because you see they go into the inkwell piece. That's how small they are. They're almost like the, the little tiara piece they used in the um the oh what's that stupid disney dogs thing come on paul you got this disney dog come on, Matt, you got this <laughs> like the, 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 the disney you. princess pets things yeah, yeah yeah there's what's the show called oh descendants no no that's not that's not it that's a different disney oh, good call though good one guys <laughs> anyway there's um <laughs> there's little dogs and it's called like you know the Pet Royal Pet Palace, something, whatever. Sure. But um, there's a little tiara, and it's the tiniest piece ever. It's it's almost criminally small for Lego to make that piece. And it's got the Mind Stone it's... in it. No, no, <laughs> it's um, it's uh, it's this little tiny shard of of 
pearl gold and I, I found one today and i'm like this is this is like dangerous for lego to make a part this small anyway these are about the same size as that tr these little little stones here and you get four of them because you're gonna lose these something fierce i think yeah <laughs> they'll instantly get stuck in the between like the fibers of your carpet the only way for a minifig to hold this i think here's what's going on the jam goes in the inkwell the inkwell sticks onto the thwip holder and then the minifig holds the thwip holder or the inkwell just goes right on to the infinity gauntlet which is going to be like the size of thanos <laughs> no no it's, it's in one of the it's one of the sets we're going to see and yeah, these yeah. little stones plug into yeah, a the big gauntlet glove. and a the, big glove. the um the inkwell is only here to show off or to hold it i guess it's not needed for the gauntlet so here's the gauntlet um so thanos is this big purple menace over here with a you know a helicopter oh, blade sword Hulk with armor he looks, he, uh, ugly. He looks Damn. pretty terrible. Maybe it's because there's not a lot of color breakup. It's just like there's purple, there's blue, and there's gold. And, the Iron um, Man is pretty cool, though. The I fist do like Iron Man. is awesome. I dig the, so the gauntlet. Because gauntlet, yeah. if you have any Hulks or any other big figures, you know there's a pin on the back of the hand. So that's going to un unplug, and this is going to plug in. Killer I don't think the fist actually goes into that. That would be um, amazing if it could. Then. I, I I can't foresee that happening. I think this is instead of that. This is a new hand because I mean yeah. it's pinned down into this structure anyway. So yeah. so there's the little red ones. Right. The little red ones are there, and you can see that one's plugged in on there. Oh, so they you go get, right in the glove. Yeah, cool. You get four per set, which is crazy. These little things are going to be so many of them out there. That's space. Uh, it's Gamora awesome. and Star Lord, and um. So so if you recall, the Milano is no more after Guardians of the Galaxy two. So this is um, this is Iron Milano right here. Anybody? Say it no? one more time. What did you say? Oh, did I, did I I lag out? Yeah, this is Iron Milano right here. Right. <laughs> Look at him. He's All right. Well, I guess shit. I guess you didn't hear me the first time because it was funny both times. I think you should explain <laughs> the joke fully. <laughs> Oh, I don't know what this ship is, but I guess it's the new Milano or just it's the an ammo bar. It's, well, who else? Who else would it be? It would be the uh, the Anderson, the, the Pamela Anderson, or something. It's, it's the it's the Nilla wafer. I don't know, but uh, that's another set. <laughs> Sorry. And uh, and this Iron Man is out of control. I can't wait to not sell this Iron Man, dude. That's <laughs> the most Gundam Iron Man I've ever seen. It is, and I. I he's, feel he's bad for anyone who's going to try to sell it like at a convention because you got to build and sticker that whole thing. Can you go and back? Kids aren't going to want it unless it has all the bursts. Yeah. Yeah. So what else I we got? I think the Milano might, might connect to that little orb thing on the left. It might, they might connect it. They kind of look to be the same color scheme. So this they might, they might link up and gray and, that's, and orange, right? Also blue and gray right, and orange. Maybe. Maybe it's an escape pod or something. Yeah, I think it might plug in the back or something. Like the ghost and the phantom, yeah. Um, another crazy ship. This is just a movie of crazy ships. I like this one. And it's got the teal. The one by 2 tile, the one by one plate. Uh, some 2 by 2 round down here. There's teal on the inside. So we got it's a black the new old color. Captain America with some claws? <laughs> yeah, with Wolverine claws. And, no, the beard. and then, those have to be a Black Panther claws, I'd imagine, right? And by the and the beard, though. Well, technically, these claws were first from Prince of Persia sets. Oh man! And we really oh, haven't bad. seen them that much since then. Because the Wolverine claws are a different shape. So what are yeah. these guys? Are they like war mongers? These are like the. Guys? Yeah, I guess so. They, these are some kind of nameless drone guys from the movie, and. Yeah, I didn't even put it together that, that was Black Widow. I should have recognized yeah. her with her uh, lightsaber bars, <laughs> her beam weaponry. Yeah, everyone's beam, beam weaponry. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why she's blonde, but that's that's not a Lego fault. That's not a Lego question. Um, and if I get even more nerdy, it it bugs me that there are like nameless drones, like the Chitari from the first Avengers movie. Like Thanos should be powerful enough that he doesn't need to have nameless drones. But that's just so all the people like Black Widow. Can actually participate and do something in the battle. Hawkeye and Black Widow can actually <laughs> exactly. do something. Yeah. <laughs> and this one comes with the blue Even stone. Captain America, really, when it comes he to does, it. you know, he does not come with a shield. He doesn't have maybe, it. Maybe that's part of the. Uh, but, like the but you're the supposed to one. give this man a shield. This must be early in the movie. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, maybe it's, it's spoilers. 
<laughs> Spoiler, he, gets he gets claws instead? <laughs> like, what? All right, what All else right, we got? Um, this is cool. I like this wall. Whatever is going on, this weird trans light purple window thing. I mean, I like it. the purple and I like it's the blade, cool. but I hate I hate these kinds of sets where it's like one piece of the of the of the whatever. Of so it's like, yeah, I hate that. Hate yeah. So there's another uh, stone which I believe is the one that's in Vision. So there's the uh, Emperor from Star Wars um, with the dual. <laughs> it's Darth Maul. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I don't know what this the is. Vision figure looks the same. Yeah, this is like attached to some plants, so I don't know if it's like a secret. I, I feel like you could use those <laughs> saw blades to make a nice vehicle for snow cops. <laughs> <laughs> or it looks like an an ultra agents type thing where it would oh, they'll, they'll, they'll split apart. The are there two net launchers? No, they're not <laughs> net launchers. <laughs> well, if they are you in Wakanda. Like they're a... in Africa, so maybe they need net launchers. They didn't say Wakanda is in Africa. You're assuming he is in Africa. Mm. <laughs> That's Black Panther. Uh well, it's a new a new Hulk That's cluster. Racist. It looks better than the old one. Okay, so <laughs> it looks the, all right. So it looks the same, except that it's using those new build a figure shoulder pads, which are awesome. Yeah. Other than, a, other than he has toes, and that's about it. That's creepy. Looks, I don't like the toes. You, like, uh, you, 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 can, you can see it now. You can't unsee the toes. No, I was going to mention it right away. Okay. <laughs> First thing I saw. Um, well, who do we have there? Falcon, generic, Falcon. dark-haired man. No, that's, that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's Bruce Banner. That's Bruce Banner. That's, that's the Hulk. Oh, it's Bruce Banner. Great. No, and, it's uh, not. What, who's over there with the blue hair? Um, that's David Bowie. <laughs> Ziggy, that's Ziggy Stardust. Yeah. So and the chain gun, the real gun. He's, this gun is awesome because it's got the Zammer Sphere in pure black, so it's shooting those things out, which is awesome. This what is kind usually of some is kind of a Zammer Sphere from Bionicle and Hero Factory. Mm. It's the the ball they use in in stuff. It's bigger than the soccer ball, and it's bigger in Chima sets, ones. and it's in lots of stuff. The black orb of power from Wakanda. What do you think of Falcon's wings? Looks like they, they look like there. ass. Yeah, you I know think what they look awful like? too. <laughs> it looks like the Emmett. Like, yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah. The uh, when he comes the, out the glider of like, the getaway, saloon, the glider thing. The yeah, uh, glider it totally getaway. does. They could just be using like crutches on his on his on his like wings. Why would, would be they just thing. use just the end ones? Like we get it. He's Falcon. <laughs> Has Why anyone seen the, the use... Vulture one? Is it the same? Like, is it also brick built like that? Like, way too big? The 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 movie Vulture? Yeah. The movie Vulture's wings are a 98-piece assembly. No. Holy fuck. <laughs> Holy I know, shit. because I, I bought eight copies of that set pre-Street Date and sold the Vultures on eBay for 20 bucks each. And nice. uh, I, I had to build every one of them. That's why I'm. I feel bad for people <laughs> that have to sell that Iron Man. <laughs> now I want to look up that that vulture because I, I I just went right past it. I didn't even bother looking for that for some reason. It's All right, pretty so good. The, it's better than this. the new upgraded Hulkbuster. And then this is the last one, I believe. Yeah, and so this we get is awesome. uh, the, the big boy. Oh, this orange and that, blue that, in one set that I'm actually buying, so I do not have to buy anything with orange and blue if I do not want the power ups. Oh, <laughs> so this is a building here. It folds because you see the hinges in the middle. It's got this awkward triangle of sidewalk once you fold it closed, but mm -hmm. you can just get rid of that. So and wait, actually, do you, do you think there. because it has that that triangle there? Do you think it actually does? Like fold up, or is it just a corner like that? Oh no! Look, you see up. a hinge right there. See the hinge right there. Hinge. Oh yeah, yeah fold good shot. Call. It'll fold. And shot. it's Don't. like it's pretty. The it's a three story building, but the stories are not as tall as your regular module either. Modular, like they're probably two bricks shorter each story. Yeah, I think. And you're then right. I do it like this beefy mamma jamma with the like hammers on chain. Yeah, I don't know who, who that is. That? I don't know who that is. It's Doctor Strange, Iron Spider, and another another Iron Man. Because you oh, know that's, that that guy is uh, Spider Man. Iron Spider, yeah. No, he's no the other guy, the huge guy. That's Spider Man. Oh, that's Spider Man. Okay, <laughs> Spider -Man. I see. Yeah, he left no, a, no, no, he left a swift behind over here. Yeah. 
That's Venom from the new movie. That's Venom. That's Tom Hardy just before he becomes Venom. <laughs> that, that's, that's Tom Hardy, no makeup. Yeah, no makeup. <laughs> um, so you'll see, kind of like how the Brick Bank had that the laundromat around the corner. This one has a pizza shop on, I guess, the back of the building, or if you keep it as a, a corner uh, on this side. Because, I mean, I guess like the front of the building is this color and the back of the building is bricks. So I guess it's probably meant <laughs> to be a corner and not so much so, the front and back of the I building. I feel like but if you bought two of these, you'd have enough bricks to make like a decent building out of it. It's not a great building, but it is pretty good. It's pretty cool, I think, to be honest. Like, it's not as good as a modular, like you said, but it is pretty cool but for like, a superhero. You set. also get a halberd, a gold sword, a spear, a paddle. <laughs> well, the paddle and, the, and the pizza and the slice and probably some of these other items are all for the pizza shop there. No doubt. The, I like the, the big, the big new the thing is um, this piece. piece right here. What is that? The one is by the two. Uh, yeah, I don't know whose backpack, but somebody's. Oh backpack. yeah, that's for backpacks. What are these? Probably the, for the, Iron Man. What are the white the and the trans red. yellow thing next to it? This, uh, those awesome. are the these the um the the thwip, thwip shooter, like uh, the flinger. It's like you 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 fling them off the uh, like flick them off the it's, arm. It's the lob, man. It's the it's the load, yeah. if you will. Okay, so we have um, a white creamy load and a yellow pea colored <laughs> load. Yeah, if I'm to be correct. If you if you see this piece, it's it's a load. It's not getting. <laughs> no anything. longer do you have to choose um, what color your load is. So. I feel like this goes on Iron Man's back because it's the same color as him. That's a silly way to think about it, but uh, I'm gonna guess it, actually that, it goes on Iron Spider for that build on his back. Well, you know what? He's not dark red. He's red. Don't so, worry about it. I don't know about it's that. Him. Anyway, it's a really exciting new piece because it's a one by two plate that's curved all the way around, so you can you can make corners out of it. You can like sand, have the sandbag effect, and it's. It's the kind of piece that they made, the third party companies made for their roller coasters. The, they had the plates with the rounded short sides so that you could curve the track. And this mm. is a really exciting maneuver here for a Lego to do. And That's also Infinity Stone. And also a bone and also pizza slices. <laughs> yeah. Where's the and bone? So, oh, there's and the bone, and yeah. a cell phone. There's, if, when you get Iron Man, or no, when you get Spider Man, you get a cell phone. Is he like really known for cell phones? Him eat pizza upside down. Is he known for cell phones? Is that what you said? He's got a cell phone in every set he comes in now. Cause he's because he's, he's a, a kid. kid. He's a teenager. Kids and their phones. Well, that's cool. That's a neat set. I like yep. it. This is probably my favorite one because um, I like buildings in general. But no, I love the figures. I, I feel like you could sneak that on the left side of like the Parisian restaurant because it sort of has got the sloped <laughs> roof. The Parisian restaurant and the pizza, the pizza place, which for inexplicably is behind the Sanctum Sanctorum of Doctor Strange. He apparently lives right next to the pizza place. We've all why not? Seen that movie. <laughs> so, are you guys gonna? Are you interested in any of those? I kind of like the last one, especially for all the power up pieces, which will be great for Lego play battles. Yeah. I dig the last one also. I think it's got it's got a good mix of a good like build and, and a good playset also because it's got all those pieces which are cool. Got some good minifigures. I like the design of the house. I love that big dude, whatever his name is, uh, whoever that ends up being. I like that one. Earl. Um, I've got yeah. no uh, <laughs> interest in any of the other sets. I like the Matt, figures. Did did you plan out your um your plan of attack for what sets you need to buy to get all of the power burst colors? No, this one's got you covered now. <laughs> but that one's got me covered for two of them, so it's kind of like I got—I don't have to get Firestorm, the set with Lex Luthor and Firestorm. But then but the, the Firestorm set with is Lobo, cool. which I am getting, has green, so that's covered. I get that set, and I get blue and light blue and and red. So is that all, all right. the colors that we've seen so far? It's pretty decent. Yeah, I think that's it. Maybe I'm wrong, but that's all right, Matt. Speaking of. of colors. Speaking you want to of talk colors. To us about fruit? <laughs> All right. So you know, y'all know my girl Olivia. Uh, she's so talented and smart. Uh, I recently got this set at Value Village in a bag for like three dollars. Um, 
She's amazing, then, Matt Olivia. Yeah, is she Matt the Olivia. only figure that comes in that entire set? Yes, she plays she's a lot. in every set. She owns. It's not even bargain. an operator for the ride. <laughs> they run themselves. Uh, some of the <laughs> stickers were not applied, and so I have these stickers for my own dark purposes. Uh, the spaceships are actually pretty funny, but you know, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm over at uh, Walmart the other day, and I look at the new Lego friend sets. Lo and behold, Olivia has glasses. <laughs> Brown, uh, her hair's still brown, but it's kind of more curly. Be, uh, she's black now too. She has become <laughs> a black. <laughs> that's that's pretty. Uh, well, as you as you said, Lego can Lego can, can be Lego have, racist. Can you go back to the box one and zoom on it. Oh, yeah. There's a there's a plus there's a plus button uh, in the window you're in. Hey, I don't know what. Ooh. I want to see um, like the art rendition of her in the top right corner. What is going on? She has a breakfast machine. <laughs> was a, look at the size yeah, of her that one fucking works. phone. Okay, <laughs> so have <laughs> they changed the races of anyone else? Oh my god, that's not that's that's the the um the book cover piece from like the Nexonite books. Her phone is. Yeah. yeah, that's like the book of monsters. Yeah, that's the book cover <laughs> piece. That's crazy. And it's not a printed HLC. Cup. I heart HLC. I love hot <laughs> loaded guys. Maybe it's a G. I, I love hot loaded guys. Do you want to know what it is? Uh, heart Lake City. Yeah. All right, good. So I know that one. <laughs> You've been watching um, the show. So no, I just I learned it from Lego Friendsopedia. Um so this is Olivia's deluxe <laughs> Olivia bedroom. Pedia? He only read the Olivia portion. Yeah, I've the Olivia. Read, <laughs> read the I wonder Olivia. Everyone's gonna say, "Guess what? She's black now." Um, she's <laughs> a fan that, of the. Is that too. Heart Lake Pac Man on the computer? Uh, <laughs> I don't know about that one. Like this is her deluxe her. bedroom. Obviously, the bedroom of the future. Choking hazard. <laughs> um, still a choking hazard. I mean, you know, I don't care. Obviously, <laughs> but like. It's just strange that you know they they had black Lego friends. Is there a bit of I'm a spike mistaken. at the end of it? What is? <laughs> oh, that's yeah. You don't want to know what that's for. <laughs> There's lots well, of stickers in the set. Jesus, you know. There's that hamster from like two waves ago. That's a fancy hamster. You can She's turn this. A... She has gyro from the uh, old NES classic. She's yeah. definitely making coffee. That's it's a coffee grounds in a blender with milk and there you have it she that's what she used to be and this is her now so why do you think they did that like this makes they, no sense to me are they like young adults now so she's tan they made her tan because she's older <laughs> maybe she just got a tan after her caribbean cruise from the from the big uh the drug the drug ship or whatever he called it i mean in in the end they're toys so it really doesn't matter but i'm thinking like what if what if you're a little girl and you got into Lego when Friends came out in like 2014 or whatever it was, 2012, something like that. What if you got into Friends then, and and like you you look just like Olivia looks like, and you really identify with her, and you know she's your favorite, just like Matt, and and <laughs> and you can't think of uh, what what you'll do when when. Olivia is not in the sets anymore, and and then they change Olivia to another race, and it, it's fine, it's whatever. But I, I don't even know why I'm choosing to take the side of the little girl who's identified with Olivia. But I, I don't know. I mean, you can make them older. I no, I can't even say that because people freak out about a uh, uh, was it a uh, Ghost in the Shell whitewashing and all that. But it's like, but what a I don't know. I guess not. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Race Joe KW is gonna be mad. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so like what they said was uh what's the reason for the change? We want to assure you that all five friends are still there. Andrea, Mia, Emma, and Stephanie, and Olivia. They still exist. Also their characters main interests and personalities. There's that noise again. So, remain which which one of us up. is that? And um, I don't know. how do you make it stop? It's only happened once. 
So there's obviously big changes in Lego Friends. In, in they also say Heart Lake City is going to be changing improvements to Heart Lake City. Maybe the they're becoming. Maybe the people <laughs> of Heart Lake City are becoming more race tolerant, and so Olivia can now be who she truly is. Yeah, Heart Lake City is a melting pot. That's yeah. Maybe this whole time she's been she's been like hiding who she really is, and now she can finally. Taking a starting point in reality, we've made the characters more diverse in their appearance and have added more depth to their personality. And of course, they still live in Heart Lake City. But just as the characters have changed, Heart Lake City will become more differentiated and rich. There are different districts and there are other citizens (laughs) that play more active roles in the story. I love that this got like slums and it's got like the rich suburbs and all that. It It has different districts. Yeah. I hope it has like a stacked city like Ninjago City. Is this a thing that's coming or has come? <laughs> no, out? no, that's just somebody having a good time. The that's lovely hotel. It's, it's the cafe lovely corner. <laughs> so there you have it. My girl Olivia is uh, a different person now, but I can still learn to love her. <laughs> you know, she still loves music. She's still the same She's person. She's still a scientist, well, apparently. Is, or... is it, no. <laughs> Which Olivia was the um the one who's in the robotics, right? That's why she has like crazy coffee death machine. I don't know. I know nothing about her. Come on, don't lie. <laughs> Let's just hit her Wikipedia page so I well, can. Better one of them's into it. animals. One of them's into music. One of them's into robotics. Well, Olivia had um, a recording studio set, so I thought she liked music. I thought. I thought. Oh, Andrea but then there's like Andrea. there's one Andrea. called Mia, and then there's a pop star called Mia something, and they're not the same person. It's like it's all fucked up. Maybe Let's it's like Hannah good. Montana. Maybe it's an alter ego. No, I think we. But it says that they it, go through the trouble isn't. of saying it's not, and we talked about this already. So yeah, that was us. That was us on here. <laughs> that was us. Maybe maybe <laughs> off of here, but still, it was us here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man, so that's. I've got a happened. question. A question about that that fake um, like hotel that that popped up that was basically a pink cafe corner. Yeah. If you, I, I've got the cafe corner, so I'm good. But if you want to like bulk out, if bulk out like your your buildings and stuff in your city, would you buy a pink hotel like that that was very obviously just pink? I don't know. Or would I'm, you? Uh, would I'm you? trying to think of some ways to integrate some more color into the city. Uh, and I mean, I have so much Lego friend brickage that I could, but it's like, you know, that's going to be tough. I feel like the beach might be a good spot <laughs> to try and pull some of that nonsense off. Uh, but yeah. you can go by the 50s diner with it with its like turquoise and pink that they've got there. Yeah. Oh, dark turquoise. I'm okay. glad you're back. <laughs> Welcome back. So, but we decided we determined they did not call it dark turquoise anymore, right? It's it's teal now, or whatever they changed the name. Well, that's what the color is called. It's teal. It's teal. Oh, well, so it's the other way around. Got it. Bricklink calls it dark like, turquoise. I don't know what Lego calls it. The color on Earth is known as as teal. I believe they did change the name of it. To be honest, I I want to know if it's the exact same color as in the late '90s, which is the last time we saw it. Or if it's um, just you know similar, kind of like Maersk blue and medium azure that are very similar colors. If you want, I can send you one of my extra pieces once I get the set. I'm sure there will be extra pieces of that color. I'm sure some will come through my store sometime soon. <laughs> for all I know, there's Eventually already I'll, a I'll send those out in my you. store that has them. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that wraps up the show for this evening, boys. Indeed, it does. We saw we have an hour and fifteen minutes left, guys. Oh, what are you talking oh, about? Geez. Don't make me say, "Are we still recording?" <laughs> Someone actually left a comment on an earlier episode. I think your 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 tagline should be, "Oh, did I hit the wrong button?" <laughs> yeah, thanks to all those people who commented on the last video. Good yeah, to have we definitely some uh, interaction with their with oh, their yeah. folks. Good and freaking out. We definitely yeah. appreciate that. <laughs> awesome. Social media contacts are all up on screen as always. Thank you to Chris. We do also want to thank everybody for watching us on YouTube and listening to us in the way that God intended audio. And that is on iTunes or on Google play for any of those. If you like what we're doing, and you appreciate uh, the content that we have, give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Even if you don't like us uh, either way, it'll help us out. 
Special shout out to all of our brothers and sisters in the realm of collectors. Check out the ROC Facebook page and Instagram account, as well as realmofcollectors.com. And if you are liking building up to it and want to check out some more nerd-related podcasts, check out the Cool Table Network, where you can find an entire family of nerdery-related podcasts, such as Enter the Realm, Breaking the Mold, Figure Banging, Stasis Lock, Nerd Rage Radio, Shattered Cast Uncut, Plastic Fanatics, Toy Detox, Beer and Bolters 40K, Eight Weeks, Fresh Communications, and once again, building up to it. We should change Not the, all the shows show to Brick oh. in the Mold. <laughs> <laughs> that would be hilarious. Just to fuck with them. <laughs> we should totally do that. Because as, as uh, we have just heard here, not all the shows are family friendly, but they are all part of a friendly family. Wow. Are we... <laughs>